Africa and shoot down aircraft with heat seeking and radar guided missiles. They stand um, two miles from, I'm, I'm like three miles from the airport. I could, these guys could sit there and just wait till aircraft pull, pull off, take off, blow them up. When they're coming in, blow them up. And they will do it. And the media thinks you're so dumb. They are going to do all this until you give your rights up because of Al Qaeda. And it may not even be Al Qaeda. It may be other mercenaries doing it. I mean, this is how you bring a country down. When, quote, government screwed up in the past or in any other country for that matter, the people responsible for it resign or go to jail. But nowadays, the answer is give us more funding. And, and that's what Hillary Clinton said. That's why whenever FEMA ordered the police to stand down during Katrina, on Bush's uh, watch, FEMA then got even more funding saying, we need more power. They've engineered that into the system. It's just an amazing level uh, of corruption. But you see, watching the Senate hearings with Hillary, only part of it is being covered. Because our government armed the Libyan Al-Qaeda rebels out of Saudi Arabia, who first came from Saudi Arabia and other countries, into Benghazi two years ago to destabilize and take down Libya. They were on the BBC saying, next stop, Damascus, Syria. They've been there. They've been given heat-seeking missiles. Some numbers are as high as 15,000. Most numbers are around 12,000. 10,000 of those heat seekers, pretty high tech. Take down any jet airliner you want. They've been attacking jet airliners, shooting them up. Passenger liners. And then the media thinks you're so stupid. They go, we have to give our rights up and invade all over Africa and Algeria and Mali because Al-Qaeda's there. And then our criminal occupied government uses that as a pretext with NATO and France to invade Mali and Algeria and other areas. I mean, it's amazing. We predicted four years ago in the Obama deception, they would use Al Qaeda that they control to invade all over Africa because we know how they operate. And we saw the buildup of AFRICON. We've been talking about Benghazi and w what it means. I mean, why would they want to order a stand down and let people be killed? Bare minimum, they ordered a stand down. That's come out. There was a stand down. They're threatening everybody. They're, 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 they're acting totally paranoid. They've been caught lying. Uh, we know there were arms being transferred. But did they go in there to get rid of the State Department because the State Department wouldn't transfer the heat-seeking missiles to Al-Qaeda? That's now being discussed on CNN. That's now what the CIA whistleblowers are telling CNN and Reuters and AP. Because if you look at the layers of the onion here, folks, Wayne Madsen, Steve Pachinik, Dr. Pachinik, and Colonel Schaefer, who works at the highest level of black ops, all said the same thing in the week, the month, and the months after. And their interviews are all up on Infowars.com. Insider, uh, uh, Wayne Madsen, and others expose the confirmed Benghazi was cover-up of arms transfer to Al-Qaeda. And why are we going back to this now? Because we said it first, then CNBC of all places, uh, DrudgeReport.com covered it uh, within a month of it as well. A, did the attack start? It was the Benghazi hired security by the State Department, by the CIA, by the National Security Council. They didn't want to be embarrassed, so just let them kill them and then they'll get the weapons and we'll use the terror threat later to take rights. Breaking tonight, a troubling report on the terror group now in control of a third of Iraq. Today, we learned that the same group may now be in possession of a deadly cache of American-made firepower, Stinger missiles. They are powerful enough to take down a commercial airliner. Celebrate the spirit of freedom and liberty upon which our nation was founded at InfoWarsShop.com. Molon Lave is ancient Greek for come and take it. This popular design combines both classic Greek Spartan imagery with modern M16 assault rifles. Now available in women's tees and proudly made in the USA. And now you can protect yourself from corrupt cops with the InfoWars dash cam. It's your car's black box 
that records all that the driver sees and hears. And introducing the Block It Pocket. It renders your phone undetectable while protecting your private data and your health. Or take back your privacy and protect your personal information by getting your very own detractor cell phone pouch. So get incredibly high quality freedom based products and help fund the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.